Hey guys, this is Candy. Welcome back to the channel. We got a new Apex Legends system override event trailer. I actually haven't watched it. It's about two minutes long, a little less than two minutes long. So we're going to kind of dive right in. I'm going to give you my first reactions to it as we're watching it. And uh, special thanks to EA for sponsoring today's video. Put myself in the corner. That way I'm out of the way. Ooh. Come get some. Okay, all right, some new skins. System override collection event. It's a bunch of new skins. It looks like the iron. Ooh. One ring pattern, permanent loot locations. Wait, what? Ah. I have to rewatch this. Oh my god. Week one, World's Edge? I don't understand. We two Kings Canyon. Ah, nice. I love Kings Canyon. Solos? Is Solos coming back? Evo shields. Flick damage to upgrade shields. Oh, man. Oh, that's so cool. Res shield stronger than gold shield? Really? Dude, I love this game, man. Look at <laughs> so many cool skins. This updates after updates. Oh my gosh. Wait, I have, this is like so much information. I need to like go back and rewatch it. You will respect it. No matter who you are back in the world. You're in my house now. That's so cool. And the Octane Heirloom, of course, of course, the Octane Heirloom, which has been leaked, sadly. But uh, all right, let's let's go back and rewatch it because I feel like I missed a lot. And uh, uh, I probably was just talking blabber for the initial. <laughs> it was just a lot of information. All right, let's rewatch it and I'll pause it. Come get some. All right, hold up. So we got an Octane skin and a Gibraltar skin in the Come background. That's cool. That's cool. That's pretty cool. They always have the best music. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a pretty neat Gibraltar skin. So one ring pattern per day. What does that mean? It's like the same ring? They have like one, one ring pattern per day. I have to look this up. Permanent loot locations. So you can have three copies of the same loot? Okay. World's Edge. So when they say World's Edge, they mean pre... Uh, yeah, this looks like pre-Season uh, 4. So the original World's Edge, I guess. And then... This... Is this the new... This is, I think this is, this is, uh, like not season one King's Canyon because the dinos are actually inland now. This looks like it's looking towards, uh, Cascades or like bridges. This is definitely, this is definitely inland. They're, they're in, in the, uh, oh, this, this pathfinder looks cool. Okay. So introducing Evo shields. So I need, I need to rewatch this. So you get inflict damage to upgrade shields. Got it. All right. So it's like a, so blue is is 50? That's confusing. Four total shield levels. Red shield stronger than gold shield. Interesting. So red shield. Ah. Uh, gives you an extra 25 health. Although I got sneeze. So the implication here is that the red shield being stronger than gold shield, meaning do you also get fast recharge? Because the only difference between a gold and a purple shield is the fast recharge. So does that mean you get the plus 25 and the fast recharge on a uh, on a red shield? Dude, a red shield can be so freaking strong with a battery. God. That's a pretty cool classic skin. Mirage never gets the best freaking skins. I'm sorry, man. That's kind of disturbing to look at too, honestly. That's like a cyborg's mirage. It's it's okay. I, I I'm not a huge fan fan of the fan of the look. I'm not a huge fan of the look. This isn't a costume. It's a uniform. It's who I am. 
and you will respect it. No matter who you are back in the world. I love how Apex respawn keeps throwing out updates. This is cool though. That's a pretty cool heirloom. I love how um oh, it's so sick. The octane heirloom. Here we go. <clears throat> so this is on the official EA website. Uh, I'll link it down in the description if you guys wanted to see. Uh, does my face cam cover anything? No, it doesn't. We're good. All right, so here we go. Deja loot is a unique take on the Apex games where a glitch in the system has caused all loot to spawn in the same location every match for the duration of the event. Even the plane path in the circle location will be fixed to this mode, which will change on a daily basis while the loot location stays the same for the whole event. The intent is to create a short-term meta shakeup and war plays for learning the new progression. But be careful, just as you know where the sweet R99 extended mac combo is, so will everyone else. Got it. Okay. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. The first week of Deja Loot Limited Time mode will take place on World's Edge. It's the second week seeing Legends return to King's Cannon. Huh. I don't know how I feel about that. It will kind of be more consistent, I guess, but uh, I'm kind of nervous it'll get kind of boring with the loot kind of just always being the same spot. Maybe not. I don't know. So the Evo Shield, um, it'll start weaker than a common body, but as you do damage to non-down players throughout the match, it'll become even stronger than the epic body shields. Okay. The purple. They said they said gold in the trailer. Evo, Evo Shields change color as they progress, but a perpetual distinctive glow help you identify them. Okay, okay. Progress carries over from person to person. So look forward for some interesting late game scenarios. Dang, okay. So basically, huh. Start the evil shield, okay. To start, the evil shield will be exclusive to the Deja Lu game mode and spawn higher rates. After the event, we'll consider adding the evil shield to all matches. So please give us your feedback. This is cool. I love what they're doing with this, man. That's so awesome. Um... I mean, the Evo Shield does sound pretty cool. I'm wondering why the trailer says it's stronger than a gold shield. And then here it says it's stronger than a purple shield. Does it get fast recharge too? I don't I don't really understand. So uh, for system override, you do get a Peacekeeper skin and a Wingman skin and a Revenant skin. And looks like a charm trinket of some sort. All right. So let's just keep going through here. Uh, 24 freaking cosmetics. Yep. 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 All right, so let's... Ooh, that Peacekeeper skin looks kind of spicy. Ooh, that 301 skin, though. Oh. Oh. In the Octane Heirloom, of course. The Octane Heirloom. Okay. So I remember reading somewhere... Here we go. We're changing the Heirloom system to make it easier for you to acquire the Heirloom you want, okay? Instead of an entire Heirloom set dropping out once, you will now receive Heirloom Shards. You can then use those Shards to pick the exact Heirloom set you'd like. The Shards will have the same drop rate as the previous system so that after 500 Apex Packs, you'll have enough Heirloom Shards to obtain an Heirloom set from the Heirloom Shop. And don't worry, your existing progress towards the 500 Packs will carry over and switch. Oh, okay. Remember that once a player owns all of the heirloom sets, a player will not be eligible to receive more shards until the heirloom sets are added to the game. Oh, man, that kind of... I don't want to say that sucks, but that's kind of a shame because, you know, I have all heirloom, all of the heirloom sets, but whatever. Um, That's that's kind of cool. Um, Yeah, I know, I know some people like kind of dreading to like get the, say, like the Bloodhound Axe, which in my opinion is the best looking one. But say if you like really want the Pathfinder one, then you can target which heirloom uh, you get. Did he just stab himself? Oh my god, the animation. Let's watch this again. Did he just stab himself? Oh, it's got like liquid inside. It's like a little needle. It's like a syringe. Oh, that's amazing. All right, once this event drops, we'll be we'll be using this. Oh man. Oh man, that's so cool. All right, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed this, like I guess, initial reaction video. Uh event again, the event goes from March 3rd to March 17th. So uh, yeah, until then, guys, I'll see you in the next one.